Yeah, so here we have your typical 50 horse Johnson motor. It's a nice 50 horse long shaft Johnson. And it had the manual tilt assist cylinder. Uh, Uh, and the cable kept going out and stuff and it was a pain in the butt hauling the motor up anyways so got tired of that and decided to go to hydraulics they want so much money for a good used hydraulic cylinder so I made one so this is the custom hydraulic trim tilt retrofit for the Johnson mid-range horsepower engine uh, you can see here that it fits right onto where the old one was and actually does a pretty good job that fancy plumbing job there has a couple of reasons for that but uh, there it is and here the hydraulic cables coming through the hole and they go in here and over to that pump which is a used Bennett tab pump that I had laying around a couple of control relays and uh, this is your up relay your down relay and your motor relay because this thing draws 20 amps so there was no way that was going to switch off the trim tilt switch it's got double valving and as you can see heavy duty hydraulic lines run right into the thing and of course it works directly off the trim tilt switch as intended battery's a little weak because it hasn't been running a while but uh, it does its job and when this thing goes down as you can see it functions properly $125 for the cylinder and the bushings and the hydraulic lines and the plumbing and if you have one of these laying around, great. If you don't, you can buy a brand new one for about 250 bucks, 200 to 250 dollars, and you can assemble it yourself. But the whole setup cost probably something in the neighborhood of I'd value it at about 350 dollars. All said and done, which is about half the price that you can get a factory uh, contained unit for uh, in use condition and in this case everything's new okay take two so ideally the cylinder you stuff in here would be would have side outlets on the cylinder so this would not interfere with uh, your yoke but that's not what I got or could find easily for the price point I wanted so this is what I ended up with which actually ended up working out great this is all welded steel heavy-duty appliance here this had to be replumbed because of the clearance issue up here though if you look underneath there's a culvert up here and this is where this lines in it actually helps lock everything together into one solid unit when it's trimmed down which I will show you now this unit is now completely locked in to the transom mount and it's now considered one unit uh, the other option that I'm going to show real quick is the stump knocker option
So you want to activate the down contacts. So this is the section detailing the stump knocker option on the custom Rock Marine custom tim, trim tilt system. Uh, the way this is set up, it's a dual acting piston. So wherever you set the engine, that's where it will stay. Okay. And if you want to do, if you if you if you think you might be getting into an area with a lot of logs or rocks underneath and you still want to be able to motor the boat in a down position but you want some added safety and not tearing up your entire bottom end we can install a momentary contact switch here that will drop the engine from whatever position it was at and leave it freeboarding between the down position and wherever you had it, wherever you dropped it from. Uh, this also works as a complete release for freeboarding the engine on the tilt trim. But what this also does is give you the ability that if you feel you're in an area where you are going to be knocking into stumps or rocks, this gives you some freeboard on the motor to try and keep your damage to the bottom end to a minimum. Or you can just trim the motor up to the appropriate height to avoid the obstacles. But this gives you the added option either way. All right, that's it. That's the uh, Rock Premium Trim Tilt System. Thanks for watching. Uh, contact me if you need any information or tips on how to build this yourself and save yourself three, four, five hundred dollars. Thank you and have a nice day.